Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 17 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about if and else conditional statements in Python. And these statements can be used to execute a block of code based on a condition that you provide. So to explain this better, let's actually jump into our spider IDE. And uh, let me actually paste some pre-copied text to save your time and my time. So first of all, uh, the conditions are based on some logical operators. So if you watched my previous tutorial about data types, now I mentioned about uh, using double equal to and then saying A equals to B. It's gonna uh, throw an error right now. So let's just define A equals to 10, 100, B equals to 100, okay? Now if I type is A e equal to B, then the answer is true. So by using double equals to, it means I'm asking the question, is A equals to B? Now, if I say A greater than B, the answer should be false. Anything else, the answer should be false, right? A is less than B false. Is A not equals to B? The answer should also be false, right? So if my B equals, uh, for example, five, and if I just run this previous command, A not equals to B, it should be true. So these are all uh, uh, conditions. Now we can use these conditions to execute our uh, uh, if and else. So for this example, let's define our A as 10 and B as 10, okay? Now this statement, if, is followed by a logical question. The question here is, if A is less than B, first of all, it's going to ask the question, is A less than B? In this case, the answer is no, it is not. Then, if that's the case, don't execute this, execute the else part, okay? That's how the if and else is structured. If something is true, do this, else do something else. It doesn't mean else is true. It's just that else is something else different than if, okay? I'll get to the, let's get to that in a minute. So if A is less than B, go ahead and print, hey, A is smaller than B. In our case, A is not less than B. So it's not going to do this. It's going to logically go to the next line saying else, if that's not true, then go ahead and do this anyway, whether it is true or not. So it's going to say print, hmm, looks like A is greater than B. So let's run this. And as guessed, it says, hmm, looks like A is greater than B. But we know that A is not greater than B. So in, uh, you can put multiple conditions. So the way you put multiple conditions is LF. LF also requires a condition. So LF, let's say A is equal to B, then let's go ahead and print, uh, looks like A equals B. Okay, let's keep this simple. Else do this. So here you can have any number of LF uh, conditions. Okay, it, it, this is a simple example. That's why we put if A is less than B, do this. LF, else if, a equals to B, do this, else print this. So basically in this case, our else would be if A is greater than B, right? So let's go ahead and run this code now. Now it says looks like A equals to B, which means this part of the code got executed. Okay, so if statement starts with if, a condition and a colon. Okay, sorry, condition and a followed by a colon. Everything that you want to be executed as part of this if statement is indented here by four spaces or hit tab. Four spaces or tab, okay? I like to use tab. In Anaconda, it automatically does it. So if I uh, put my cursor next to the colon and if I hit return, you see how it actually automatically got to this point and not there. So that's the uh, good thing about Anaconda. Now, uh, LF also has a condition and if that's true, do whatever is under LF. Else is basically, if nothing works, run this part, okay? If no, none of these conditions matter, run this part. That's what this is. Now, you can have multiple uh, conditions. So for example, let's erase all of this. Let's actually uh, change the numbers to, for example, B equals to five, and let's change our C equals to 20 and make this a bit more interesting. Now let's say if A is greater than B, okay? Now you can actually add another condition by actually typing and if A is greater than B and you can also use or, okay? And let's say B is uh, greater than C, 
okay in fact i think i to save time i actually uh, copied this part so let me uh, go ahead copy and paste it here okay so let's do this go ahead and paste it so if a is greater than b and b greater than c okay then print this else if a is greater than b or b is greater than c okay so let's actually do these lines first it did not print anything if we run the entire thing it will probably print either a is greater than b or b is less than c which is true right so in this case a is greater than b but b is not greater than c so it did not execute this line it has to follow both that's what and means or just like in plain english means either this or that should be true okay so this is how you can use if and else and uh, just to finish this off let me also show one final thing these conditions can be nested n-e-s-t-e-d nested is just like the russian dolls the nested dolls inside one if condition you can have another if inside another if you can have another and another and another you can have any number of these provided they are indented accordingly so let me show you uh, let me delete this part and here you go if a is greater than b then print first if statement where a is greater than b if b is less than c that means first of all a is greater than b must be true because it's executing this part right all of this is part of if a greater than b so that has to be met and then this code works if a is less than b then this code works right so now let's say if a is greater than b which is true in this case then it's going to say first i'm printing a statement saying okay now i'm in this first if then i have two other conditions if b is less than c print this lf b is greater than c print this okay so in this case what do you think happens if a is greater than b which is true it's going to print this and then if b is less than c which is true it's going to print this so i expect these two statements to be printed so let's go ahead and run this so it says first if statement where a greater than b there you go and second level statement where b is less than c so i hope this makes sense and this is a quick introduction to if and else and elif and uh, hopefully things get even more clarified when we get more a bit deeper into this coding so i hope you learned the use of if and else go ahead and practice this look at other examples online because this is very useful for our uh, for our image analysis part so thank you very much for your attention and in the next tutorial let's cover a different topic thank you